Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the video, I'm Get Good Guy, and today I'll be talking about the most popular loadout in Battlefield 1 and how good or bad it is. So this will be an opinion piece, you can disagree with me of course. We all have our own thoughts and feelings after all. Now obviously there's no way to know what the most chosen complete loadout is, so in order to construct this build, I've analysed what the most used weapons and gadgets are to create a loadout of the most popular individual selections. So we have the most popular primary weapon, the most popular sidearm, the most popular gadget combined with the second most popular gadget in the same class, which is also then the fourth most used gadget overall, then we have the most popular grenade, and the most popular melee weapon. I took all of these stats from usage numbers for the same day and made sure that they all held this position on a regular basis, or contest it with no more than one other option. And I won't be discussing specialisations in this video, as I don't believe there's any way to track usage numbers for those. I do, however, intend to make a video about the specialisations I use for each class at some point in the future. So let's begin with the primary weapon, and I'm sure this won't surprise anybody, we have the Hellregal Factory, which has been by far the most used weapon in the Assault class and in the game for a very, very long time. And for a good amount of time, it was seen as being entirely dominant and essentially overpowered. It had decent stopping power, a super simple recoil pattern, and a huge ammo capacity, which essentially made it the easy mode option for the vast majority of players. But things are somewhat different now since the TTK patch, and I feel like old habits simply die hard, as I don't believe the Hellregal is the top tier choice it once was. Sure, it's still pretty easy to use, but there are other more lethal options available within the Assault class at this point. For example, the Ribirales is a ranged beast, and the SMG-08 absolutely shreds people at close range. Plus, I no longer feel like the SMGs are the dominant force in the game as a whole, as medic rifles are absolutely lethal at such a variety of ranges now, whilst being very easy to use. Combine that with the Hellregal now being harder to use at range than before, and you've got a bit of a fallen giant on your hands. It's still good, but I don't think it's anywhere near where it used to be. For example, in this clip, I used the Hellregal as you used to be able to use it, and it simply can't hit shots consistently like this anymore without alterations at range. However, you can still use it decently if you burst fire and have good aim. And much like any weapon with a relatively large magazine, it's pretty good for shredding sentries and cavalry. So overall, the most popular primary weapon is still good, maybe even very good, but it's not the best, not by a long shot, at least if you ask me. Next up, we have the most popular sidearm in the game, and that is the M1911, which is available from the very start of the game. And right off the bat, I will say that I've never been a huge fan of this option. I understand why it's been provided, it's essentially your standard handgun model that features in just about every FPS game. It's a complete jack of all trades and master of none. Decent damage, decent range, decent recoil, decent rate of fire, etc, etc. So it will do a pretty good job of whatever you like. But I personally feel like I can get a lot more out of a much more specialised handgun. A revolver to two-tap people at close range, a fast firing sidearm to spray people down, or a long range option to pick people off a bit further away. Especially now that primary weapons kill so much more quickly on the whole. A sidearm that's solid at a lot of things but not great at anything just doesn't feel all that worthwhile to me. Perhaps it's a case of this weapon being available from the start so people just got used to it. Or maybe lots of people don't think sidearm choice is important, or perhaps it just fits other people's playstyles better than mine. Whatever it may be, it's very popular and will do what you expect of it. It's just not really for me. Next up, we have the AT Rocket Gun, which is the most popular gadget in the game in terms of usage time, and I totally understand this pick because it's just so versatile. It can obviously be used to damage and or destroy vehicles, plus it can be used to contest building-based fights, and it's great for just straight up taking on infantry, whether it's through splash damage or the ever so brutal direct impact. This is also an especially good choice because of the balance it provides the assault class, as it can be used as some form of very basic sniper if your aim is good enough. Assault weapons tend to be close range specialists, so having the rocket gun to expand out your capabilities is always a great bonus. Now we move to gadget 2, and that is the AT Grenade, and we'll make this quick as I'm just not much of a fan of it. It's obviously great for vehicle damage, and can double up as two extra grenades for basic explosive capabilities if you so wish, but personally, I prefer dynamite as I just think it's far more versatile, and I also think dynamite is a little bit underused by the community as a whole. But yeah, AT Grenade is pretty good, gonna be good for most people does a good job. Next up we have the basic grenade and this slot goes to the ever so trusty frag grenade. I probably don't need to explain this to you at all, everyone knows the deal with a frag. I think it's a good option as it allows you to do so many things. It's lethal against infantry and can do some damage to vehicles. Also just lobbing them into hot zones can score you some easy kills sometimes. Personally though, I just about prefer gas as I like
like how much you can do with it. You can block areas, lanes, force people to move, catch people out through walls and floors, and the gas grenade does actually switch with the frag in terms of being the most popular choice sometimes. That being said, the frag was the top choice on the day I got my stats for usage time, plus it's comfortably top for the amount of kills it picks up. It is overall a very strong option, and I totally understand its popularity. And finally, we come to the melee weapon, and this one is your basic combat knife. And the melee weapon comes down to personal preference anyway. Light melee weapons such as the combat knife can strike quickly and have a larger one hit kill takedown zone, but they do less damage. Each individual can decide what they prefer. Personally, I choose other options for a different reason though. I like to have something that can break barbed wire and wood, but each to their own. And so that is the most popular loadout in Battlefield 1 based on usage time per item. It's a pretty solid build, seemingly comprised of selections that are generally easy to use and don't require a whole lot of extra consideration to use effectively. I personally feel that the primary weapon and secondary weapon are both somewhat good at everything without being great and that feels a bit limiting, especially in a climate of medics being so good at so many ranges. I also feel like the loadout is a bit explosive heavy and it would be nice to have gas or something to balance it out a bit more. But this is all just my opinion. What do you think? Do you use any of these selections? Do you see them used a lot? And what do you think of the loadout as a whole? Let me know in the comment section below. Now let's go over to the board of awesome for the fantastic people who support the channel on Patreon. They're the main reason why you get content from me full time. It simply wouldn't be possible without this support. So thanks to everyone on here. If you want to join them on the board of awesome, then the link to the Patreon page is in the description and in my pinned comment. Support can start from just $1 a month. I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to turn on notifications so you don't miss future videos and feel free to like, share and subscribe. I'm GetGoodGuy and I'll see you next time, laters.